What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm gonna be honest, some of the stuff I'm seeing on Instagram, it's making me so warm inside. I feel like a proud father, maybe a brother. I'm a family member, we'll leave it at that. But seriously, keep tagging me on Instagram, I love seeing the creations come to life, man, you guys rock. Let's take a moment guys and talk about pasta. Loaded with carbs, lacking in protein, the sauce we use half the time is going straight to our derriere, and you get so many calories in such a little portion, it's easy to binge on, man, been there, done that. You don't even wanna see me at the Olive Garden. Last time I was there, halfway through my meal, they had to call in FEMA. But in today's video, we're gonna change that. With this recipe, we'll be making anabolic mac and cheeseburger. Creamy and delicious shells and cheese with a nice little beef topping. Not only is this recipe extremely anabolic, lower in carbs than regular pasta, we're gonna get some fiber in there too. I always say this, it ain't about giving up the foods you love, it's just about making better choices. And I promise, man, you give this one a try, it could literally change your life. I guarantee it. As always, man, if you have the RGF recipe book, link in description, it's been updated. This recipe's in there along with every other one of my anabolic recipes. If you're trying to follow this diet and you want a handy little guide, right in your pocket. I mean, but you don't do much better than this. You get it one time, you get every future SBI ad for free, man. We're constantly updating it, boy. The value is tremendous. I would compare it to the Arby's five for five back when they still did that. That was value. They quit doing it because they don't care about the people, but this value, she ain't never going in. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! All right, all right. Let's get this thing started with a food scale and a smaller black bowl. Really changing things up today. First thing we're gonna do is weigh out our pasta. I got bonza chickpea pasta. You're not gonna notice a flavor difference, but you're gonna add protein and fiber, man. It's a win-win. And did I mention that it's shells? Them sweet, sweet shells. Get them right in there. Now we're just gonna fill a saucepan with about four cups of water. We're gonna slowly bring it to a boil and add some salt. I like to use a little extra. And while we're waiting on that water to come to a boil, I'm gonna open up a package of 96.4 lean ground beef and weigh out 112 grams in a large mixing bowl. Now to season it, I'm just gonna throw in about a gram of salt, a couple grams of ground mustard, and a gram of black pepper. This is gonna give it that cheeseburger flavor we want. Now I'm just gonna go in by hand and mix it all up. Now that our water is boiling, we're just gonna toss in our chickpea pasta. Now all we're gonna do is stir it, and then I like to set a timer on my phone for about nine minutes. That's all she needs, bud. Keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't overflow, and after nine minutes, we'll be good. Once the noodles are done, grab a strainer and just strain them off. Then shake it a little bit to get that water off. The men in the audience will understand completely. And now we're just gonna toss them in a mixing bowl. So moving right along, we're gonna preheat a pan, hit it with nonstick, and toss our seasoned beef right in. And once it's done, it has a nice brown to it, I'm gonna toss it in a mixing bowl. So we got our pasta finished and we got our beef finished. The last thing we gotta do is put together this sauce. Since the next part we need all the ingredients ready for, we'll just go ahead and weigh them out. First thing we need is 120 grams of unsweetened almond milk. I use vanilla personally, but do whatever you want, buddy. I just wouldn't advise chocolate. That might not turn out in your favor. Next, I'm gonna add about five grams of Frank's Red Hot Queso Seasoning Mix right to the almond milk. It's gonna add some cheesy flavor to this and make it overall a game changer. Now I'm just gonna weigh out 84 grams of fat-free cheddar cheese. All that goodness of cheese without all that fat, man. We don't want them calories, we want that protein though. And then in the same bowl, right on top, I'm gonna weigh out 56 grams of fat-free cream cheese. Help thicken this up and give it a sauce-like consistency. Now all we're gonna do is take a saucepan, grab our almond milk, stir it up with that queso in there, and dump it right in. Now we just set it to a low heat, let it heat up a little bit. You'll know it's done when it starts to smoke. And as she's heating, go and stir it up, let that queso really mix together. And now that it's thickened up and started to smoke, we're gonna toss the rest of our cheeses in there. Now just stir everything in and keep stirring it until it all dissolves and becomes a thick sauce. And once it's thick and all mixed up, just add it in right with your noodles. And once it's in there, we just go in and stir everything together. I wish you guys could smell this right now because what's happening here with these aromas shouldn't even be legal. And 
And then for a final step, I'll just toss about half my beef in here and then keep mixing her all together. And then finally, to make the thumbnail extra cool, I'm gonna sprinkle the rest of our ground beef right on top. If you made it this far into the video, guys, smash that thumbs up button for me. We are taking back fitness and making dieting fun again. At this point, it really ain't even a diet, bud. It's an anabolic lifestyle. And boom, our anabolic mac and cheeseburger is now finished. You can't tell me your mouth ain't watering just staring at this, man. It really speaks for itself. A dish like this knows all languages. It can communicate across the cosmos. If you're out there right now and this doesn't look good to you, I'd go get that head examined because something's wrong. All right, guys, we've been staring at it long enough. I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag, and try this thing together. You guys ready? Let's go. All right, guys, time to get down to business. This looks incredible. I ain't gotta worry about that thumbnail, bud. When, when it looks like this, this one's in the bag. You might be like, Ram, where's the greens? Why are there no veggies? Hold on there, El Chapo. I got them right here. I'm gonna take one scoop of Final Boss greens to the dome. Not only is it gonna give me my greens for the day, but it's gonna keep that doctor away. Talk about two birds. Dry scoop. A little chewy. Ah. I know I said taking that never gets easier, but I think it's getting easier. Available at FinalBossFormers.com, Amazon.com, free two-day shipping, code RJF. 10, 10%. Channel merch, link in description. Final Boss Athletics, bud. Lifetime Natty shirt. How ironic. It's available on there, and we got new stuff dropping. And I got my new Anabolic Wizard shirt. Should be out by the time this video comes out, so check it out. All right, let's get down in here and get a nice little bite. I'm just gonna get right here in the middle. Let me get some burger. All right, we're gonna do that one right there, bud. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, we did it again, boys. We did it again. Oh man. Let me tell you right now, the addition of that little bit of queso seasoning to that cheese sauce just gives it a tiny little bit of spice, nothing crazy, but a little bit of queso flavor, and then the way we seasoned that beef, normally 96.4 beef, a little bland on its own. We added salt, we added pepper, and then we threw in the ground mustard, which gives it a real cheeseburger-like flavor. Seriously, man, you gotta make this one. And there's a strong argument to be made the impact that the shells are having in this. I swear, there might be zero difference between a shell and a regular noodle, but uh, the shells, man. There's some wizardry going on here. Oh my goodness. It's cheesy, it's beefy, pretty attractive. All the qualities I'm looking for. And when I read you these macros, I don't even think you're gonna believe it. And the crazy part is, I used to think in order to lose weight, to be lean, to have muscles, all that stuff, I had to eat chicken, rice, and broccoli. That's what I thought, man. But now, I get to eat like a king, look Look like an Adonis. Well, I wouldn't take it that far, but I think I look all right. And still make goals, baby. The anabolic diet and these recipes are the key. I'm telling you guys, man. You don't get better than this. You just don't. Oh, Best part about this one is, you wanna make a bigger batch? Double all the ingredients. Meal prep it out. It microwaves super easy. That cheese is gonna remelt. It's gonna be just as good. Take a tub of this to work with you and tell everybody you're on a diet. They're gonna laugh at you. But when you show up to the company picnic, steal your boss's fiance and lay claim to that unborn child, they're gonna know you were doing something right. And if you're not taking thumbnail pictures, man, feel free to throw all the beef down in it. I put it on top because I think it did something for that thumbnail. Let me know if you agree. It's the most important part of this game, man. If that thumbnail ain't good, no one's watching. For all you aspiring, budding YouTubers out there, that's a pro tip. In this entire recipe, if you make it exactly how I did it, you end up with 777 calories. Isn't that the lucky number on a slot machine? Coincidence? I think not, because this is the jackpot right here. Only 13 grams of fat, 86 grams of protein, 79 grams of carbs, 17 grams of fiber. Not only is this delicious, low in calories, extremely high in protein, we got that fiber in there too, and we're not busting at the seams with our carbs. It's balanced, and it's balanced well. Just get a load of that, boys. Get a load of that. That's worth writing home to mom about, bud. All right. I'm powering through this, but I'm getting full. This is like the perfect dinner portion right here. You're going to be full, but not miserable. You're going to be satisfied, but not ready to go on a binge. You're going to be more anabolic, and your girlfriend's going to grow a beard. All the best qualities in a meal. And as always, man, if you have the RJF recipe book, link in description, it has now been updated. Go get your updated copy. All my recipes are in there. All the ones we're adding are in there. And ones that for videos I haven't even dropped yet or ones that just aren't on the channel are in there. Over 100 pages, bud. You get it one time, you get every future update for free. So every time I'm feeling like a mad scientist and I whip up a nice little anabolic meal like this, I toss it in the cookbook. That way you know exactly what you gotta do. You're not in the middle of Walmart with no service trying to pull up a video for your grocery list. You got it right in your pocket, bud. This is hands down the best diet I've ever done, the most sustainable diet I've ever done. You can watch my track record. Look at my videos. Do I look like I'm gaining weight? If anything, I look like I'm building more muscle, I'm leaner, and uh, I'm not even taking anything. Just wait till I do. 
Home. And if all this is confusing and you're like, Rem, just tell me what to do, bud. Tie me up, put a gag on me, and give me orders. All right, I can do that. RemyJaysFitness.com. I'll make you a meal plan, make you a training plan. You'll work with me in any capacity that you'd like. And I'll get you right as long as you don't make excuses. You show up and you get it done. I guarantee it. I appreciate you guys, as always, for watching. Smash thumbs up. Comment anything down below. It all helps the algorithms, helps the channel get more exposure, helps more people find these recipes. Comment something you'd like to see me make. Uh, subscribe if you are not subscribed. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Good Lord. Good Lord.